Hello everyone, this is Funny. You are watching Funny HS Info. Today I am going to talk about ALARP Risk Management. ALARP is an acronym for As Low As Reasonably Practicable. It is similar to SFAIRP, which means So Far As Is Reasonably Practicable. Both of these involve calculating a risk against the money, time and effort required to control the risk. When the assessed risk is above the broadly acceptable level but below the unacceptable level, then the risk reduction is expected to be carried out by a corporation level as low as reasonably practicable or ALARP. As it is generally known that plant operation is generally undertaken with risks. Risk is the possibility that harm might occur when plant personnel or equipment exposed to a hazard. Theoretically, all forcible risks must be identified and managed through a structural process because risk cannot be completely eliminated. It is however possible to be minimized to a level that is as low as reasonably practicable. Alar principle is basically represented by the above risk triangle with high risk indicated by the red color on the top and low risk green color at the bottom and medium risk is located somewhere in the middle. When a risk is reduced by mitigations or measures, the degree of risk is decreased from high to low. Risk above the upper tolerability limit is intolerable which risk reduction is must. Between upper and lower tolerability limits, the risk is only tolerable if it is alarm, which means that all reasonably practicable risk reduction measures have been identified and implemented. Lastly, below the lower tolerability limit, risk is broadly tolerable and acceptable. Alert concept is based on achieving a balance between cost, difficulty, trouble and time of risk reduction measures and perceived actual benefits. ALARP demonstration is continuous process in ensuring risks are managed effectively. The ALARP principle promotes safety improvements. It introduces scoping and execution uncertainties with potential impacts on both cost and production, especially in the operation phase. To decide if ALARP has been reached, you should consider the following. Has good practice been followed? Is there any more that can be done to reduce the risk? If yes, are further controls reasonably practicable? To decide if further controls are reasonably practicable, you can look at the cost and time to implement them, the level of risk that will be reduced by implementing them. Let me explain this alert risk management principle with one example. Let's look at the ladder use. Many contractors don't like ladders being used on their sites. It is not because the ladders are banned, but because there are other and safer alternatives. Ladders are not safe working platforms. So if you are working off ladders to fix something at height is the risk alert. For this reason, the ladder should only be used for the access and very short duration of work which means 30 minutes maximum. Anything that requires longer or repetitive work at height, a tower scaffold, mobile elevated working platforms or fixed scaffolds might be more appropriate. It's going to significantly reduce the risk. It is good practice, right? And therefore it is reasonably practicable. In this way, we have to use alert principle to control or mitigate the hazards.